Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a tater tot breakfast hot dish. Cue the music. Thanks a lot for being here. I appreciate you joining us today for whatever platform you're watching us on. Like I said, we're going to be making a tater tot breakfast hot dish. Let's drop down and see what our ingredients are. We have got one pound of ground breakfast sausage. We've got one bag of frozen tater tots, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese that we're dividing, eight large eggs, half a cup of heavy cream, four jalapeno peppers that were diced, half of a diced onion, one clove of fresh garlic minced, and a quarter teaspoon each of some salt and pepper. Let's get cooking. All right, we got half of our mise en place here. This is what we're gonna cook. We're gonna do our sausage and our onions and peppers and garlic. Then we're gonna go back over to the other table and we're gonna mix it up. The tater tots are already cooked because I'd like to add them into this already cooked, but I think it hold the integrity of them instead of putting them in raw without being cooked off. I think they have a tendency to get mushy. So I already cook them off and you'll see when we add these two, I will reiterate why that I do that. But let's uh, focus on this pan and then we'll start cooking. All right, I've got our sausage in the pan on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna break this up and get it to start browning off. All right, our sausage is getting a little bit of brown color on it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw our onions in and our jalapenos, seeds and all. And stir this in there and let this cook alongside with it. All right, sausage is cooking nicely. Onions are getting soft, translucent. Peppers are giving off their fragrance. Go ahead and add the garlic. And we just want to cook this. Stir it in there until it's fragrant. That smells good. It's also going into the oven too, so I've cooked it all the way. I'm pretty sure it's cooked all the way off. It is going to go into the oven for about 40 minutes, so it will cook the rest of the way. I'm just turning this off. We're going to head over. We're going to mix up our eggs and get that ready. All right, we want to break our eggs into the bowl and get our foundation going as well. So I'm going to go ahead and crack all these eggs in here. Get our heavy cream, salt and pepper. We're just going to beat these up until they're into a nice egg wash. All right, we're going to throw half of our cheese in here as well. Just set this aside. Now, right, you can do this any way you want. I'm going to go ahead and put our meat in and get that spread evenly on the bottom. Then we're going to take our cooked hash brown, or our cooked tater tots. Remember I said I cooked these off because I think if we put them in in the, in the frozen state and, and add our egg in there and bake it off, it's just going to get mushy. If, if they're already cooked, they've got their integrity already in the way of being cooked and they'll hold a lot better. I don't think they'll have a the, the, the they won't get gross. I, I just think so. I've never made this before like this. Anyway, just pour your egg wash over the top of it. Let it mix all the way. And you can take a spoon and mix all this up so the egg covers everything. And it's mixed well. Then you take your other cheese and you just cover it all with it. Now the oven is on preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to throw this in for four, starting out at about 45 minutes and then we'll check it after that and see what's done. Here we go. All right, there it is. I'm fresh out of the oven. I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. Everything can settle down. We're going to cut open a piece, throw it into some plate, garnish it a little bit, take some photos of it. Then we're going to come back and take a bite and see what it tastes like. Don't go over anywhere.
nice shot of it right there in the camera b-roll camera now let's see what it tastes like Right away I'm getting that layer of cheese on top to kind of brown off. You can taste that sausage right away too. A little bit of the heat coming through. The onion and the pepper. Garlic. Those tots are not soggy. They're crisp. I think it was a good idea to cook them before instead of sitting them in there frozen where they would thaw out and just not cook really properly. So, yeah, this is really good. Really quick, too. It was only a half hour in the oven, by the way. Not a whole hour. So, it'll be worth your time to make. Here's a nice shot there with the peppers hanging off. Mm. Yeah, the eggs are very creamy, too. So, sausage, tater tot, casserole, what did I call it? Tater tot breakfast casserole, tater tot breakfast hot dish. Go ahead and get, make this up. The recipe is down in the description box. This is pretty damn good. Go ahead. You won't regret it. You can make it the day ahead and then cut out a piece and microwave it for breakfast. You don't have to make it all in the morning. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye uh, bye. These rappers don't listen, but let me show them something. You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now what you fixing up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up These rappers don't listen, well let me show them something You hear that beat bumping, pumping from the soul kitchen uh -huh.